Hello there everyone, my name is Luna, and this is a Luna Does the Vlog thing. I'm going to be trying and doing a, a little bit of different stuff for Luna Does the Vlog thing, and this different stuff is actually showing off my Pokemon card collection that I've had sometime around the 2000s. Uh, I don't actively buy Pokemon cards, I haven't bought a Pokemon pack in forever, and I don't even recall like opening packs when I was a little guy. Uh, I was probably around 6 or 7 when I obtained the majority of these cards. Probably somewhere from 6 to 9. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is showing you my Pokemon card collection that I have, which I believe ranges from Gen 1, mostly Gen 1, and I believe there's some Gen 2 cards. Now, when it comes to base sets and all that wonderful stuff, I really do not know. But this is, whenever this was, this binder was created, as you can tell, it's jam-packed. It, um... Uh, that's when I started collecting cards because I loved me some Pokemon. So we are going to be going through with, uh, through this. I don't know if it's going to be two videos or one video or whatever it may be. But we're going to go down Memories Road. Uh, and uh, I haven't seen these in quite some time. I actually keep them next to my bed stand. Uh, I've actually... I have not done that. Oh, I have. I've actually uh, unhooked the rings just so it's easier to show you guys. I have them all in wonderful little, little holders right there. Oh, look. Ultra Pro holders. Hopefully they're a lot better than what they were back in the day, because these things tear like a motherfucker now. Um, see, so there's a whole bunch of trainer cards. Pewter Gym, Trainer for Millions. I guess I'll just kind of go through them, because trainer cards aren't really anything, something people really looks out for. Um, let's see, what else? More trainer cards. Wow, I actually have some Japanese Pokemon cards. Some dudes came to my house uh, once when I was at school, and I believe I was like in third fourth or third grade or something along those lines and then my stepdad bought like all their binders i have a total of three binders now i only have a total of one because i lost them in the move and i had a shit ton of japanese cards and the japanese cards actually have a pretty cool back there's nothing uh, they don't have this american style back uh but they have this cool i don't know i thought i thought it was always cool to me oh look at that train a build draw two cards he was a very favorite card of mine when I was playing the Pokemon TCG game uh, game uh, game color game. Uh, go through it a little bit quicker than I usually am. I just want to get through the trainer cards. I know not a lot of people really like these trainer cards, which I guess I kind of think of them as um as uh how do I say that like sorceries and magic, which is a trading card game which I usually play. Oh gee gee, gust to win! Look at that, Barry. What's up, Barry? Oh, goodness. Oh, I do have energy cards. Huh. I used to have a binder that was just filled with energy cards. And look at that. I always thought this was the sweetest thing ever. This Japanese, um, I believe that's, I don't know how to explain it. And I think it's from the Rocket Collection. And also it's rare. You can tell by the rarity if it's a star. I believe it's a triangle. It's uncommon. In a circle, it's common. So there's a... Yeah, there's a diamond for uncommon, and I believe there's a star for rare. And so if they have that down there, and I believe this is from the rocket. And uh, as I was saying, with the Japanese Pokemon games, they had this cool pocket monster back to it, which I loved. Now, I don't remember if I put these in order, to be honest with you. A potion energy. If you play this card from your hand, remove one damage counter from the Pokemon you attach uh, you attach it to. It has a potion energy provide a one, I don't know, colorless energy. I believe that's what it's called. So I have a shit ton of Squirtles. I don't know exactly what kind of Squirtles I have. I kind of want to... Actually, this one has, like, faded art more than the other one. Um, this, I don't, this isn't the base game. I believe this is the base set, too. Maybe? I'm not exactly sure. I'm not... I'm not a virtuoso of it. I have like a shit ton of one specific type. And you can tell as we go through this, since I have one, since if I have more than one, little me put in uh, more one, more of the same card, more of the one of the same Pokemon, I ended up putting them right, right after one another. And sadly, no shiny Charizard that people like to love and brag about and cost $50 or upwards to 300 so, as you can tell, I did try to put it in some form of order, and I think you could tell that they're from different uh, sets, like R right there for the Rocket set, which I know they had, uh, because I actually have been looking at it. And uh, I did not know Lieutenant Surge had a Sparrow, although he was an Electric-type trainer. What's up there, my boy? 
What's that? I really enjoyed the art. Holy shit, it's fact Pikachu. It's been forever since we've seen the back. Also, dark type Pokemon. I remember that was a thing for a while. For the GameCube game, the dark type Pokemon, you could catch them and steal them from other people. Like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, Sandshrew, Nidoran. No Needle King. And no Needle Queen. Come on, man. Come on, man. This is like my favorite Pokemon. And also another favorite Pokemon of mine is Zubats. I love Zubats. Side Duck. Dark. Gold Duck. I believe I only have one of this. When I'm feeling it, I can feel like how many of one specific type I have. And it's quite a lot. I have a lot of Arcanines. Is Arcanine rare? No, Arcanine's uncommon. Primeape. Brock's Mankey. Dark Primeape. Pokemon Power Frenzy. If Dark Primate does any damage while it's confused, please focus. Even to itself, it does 30 damage. 30 more damage. Oh. So this move can end up doing a uh, good 70 damage. I guess it's kind of good. And I believe this is around the time where they only had cards that were hollowed. Uh, which is, I believe, they're like this. And I think this was a... Yeah, this was a promo. If cards are like this, I believe they're usually called hollow, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, cards with the outside, except the picture, those are referred to as reverse hollow, and I believe they started doing that recently, and you get one of them in every single pack that you uh, buy. You get a reverse hollow. Um, look at that side duck. Dark per Persian. Persian. Hello, Polly. Why? How you doing? No, I'm okay. Polly world. Beautiful Polly world. Abra. I've always liked this Abra art. Specific. I always loved it. I was like, oh shit, he's sitting on top. That's where he goes when he fucking teleports away from me, you little bitch. And then you got Kadabra. Wonderful Kadabra, one of my favorite. I believe this is from the base set also. No, it's, no, nah, I forgot how many are in the base sets. 102 or 132? I don't remember exactly. Uh, Dark Kadabra. It tells you on the bottom right here how many, which number it is in the set. And it doesn't want to focus for some reason. Please focus. You can kind of see it. It's like, 39 ish it's not really focusing ma chalk uh i didn't really understand how to play pokemon i would play with it by myself and duel myself uh, and I, oh look at that i have a golem but no graveler <laughs> that feel no graveler my boy yeah i have a bunch of sets smashed into one and this most likely is probably because uh probably because that guy sold me some cards sold a whole bunch of cards oh look at this lieutenant surge look at that Look at your shiny. Oh. Great googly moogly, kind sir. Great googly moogly. I don't like how I'm letting it fall over like that. It is very gross. Seal. A gorgeous seal. Do we have a dugon? We do have a dugon. Is a dugon rare? No, it is uncommon. Uh, look at that grimer. If I'm not mistaken, I think this card was edited. I think this card was like looking up the girl's skirt. In the Japanese version, I'm not exactly sure. I I seen something along these, along card Pokemon cards being edited, a whole bunch, uh, just because it's like not fulfilling setting for children. Missy Shoulder, Shoulder, Ghastly, Ghastly. Oh, this Ghastly is a bad boy. He's also CG for some reason. What the fuck happened to you, Ghastly boy? What's wrong? Hunter, which, if I'm not mistaken, the hunt. Oh, and this is a holographic right here. Uh, this is a first edition holographic, actually. It says it so right here in the corner. This that little mark right there says first edition. Why the fuck would it? Yeah, it says first edition, and it is a rare because it has a star symbol on the lower right. And uh, this, I believe, this is the space set two, and this is from the fossil set, if I'm not mistaken. First edition from the fossil set, which I believe was right after the first and second base set, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. I kind of looked at it. I glanced at it a little bit just so I could have an idea of it. But if I'm not mistaken, this in Japan, it, you know how it's called Hunter here? It's just called Ghost. Yeah, Ghost. It just straight up calls Ghost. And look at that. I got a Gengar. Look at that. I didn't know I had a Gengar. Beautiful Gengar. Look at him. Look how handsome he is. Look at him. Look at him. Kind of looks like he has... His eyes are all fucked. Do you see that? His eye right there is looking like down and in, and that one's looking up. What happened to you, poor boy? Let's see, we got an Onyx, Drowsy, a different Drowsy, a Hollow First Edition Dark Hypno. That looks very nice. 
bench manipulation. Your opponent flips a number of coins equal to the number of Pokemon on his or her bench. Uh, this attack does 20 damage times the number of tails. Don't apply weakness or resistance. Oh, great. Krabby. Kingler. Voltorb. Voltorb. Electra dude, dude. Uh, oh, and we have also we also have a hollow electrode. From which set? I don't know exactly. That's the set symbol. I know this is rocket because it says rocket. Duh. Um. Hmm. Nice little cubo and Murawak. Was Murawak rare? No. I'm trying to see exactly what's rare. A lot of these are uncommon. These two were rare. Let's see. Oh, coughing. One of my favorite Pokemons. I love me some coughing. I never I never was I never was able to use it in like any Pokemon game. I never really came across them and I didn't know how to catch them. Maybe I should do a new Pokemon thing on my channel. Also, Rhydon is an uncommon? What? Whatever, boy. Whatever. Not feeling as if horn attack is an overpowered attack. Horsey. Seedra. Oh, the wonderful Golding and Sea King. Why is Sea King stronger than Seedra? I have absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. Let's see. Oh, some of these are actually sticking together because they've been in here for so long. And actually, oh my god, there's a lot of multiples of this one specific card that I have down here. Let's see, a star you, star me cheeks, a hollow L lieutenant surge electabuzz, a promo kids WB the from the Pokemon first movie. Whoa, I remember getting this. You actually got this. There was a box that was just sitting at the um oh god, it was called Tensile Town. I think that was a theater that I used to go to. There was just a box, and you just stuck your hand into it and grabbed it. I'm surprised that no adult was going to be, well, see the hollow in it. Look at that. Beautiful on this one. Um, seeing some adult being a dickhead is like, these are going to be a lot of money in the future. No, they're not. They're like mass produced. Magmar. Beautiful Magmar. Love me some Magmar. And then another Magmar. A different edition Magmar. Magikarp. I always like this this version of the Magikarp. I like the art. It's more cartoony. There's some There's some that are a lot... I believe the Rocket one had a lot more cartoony, solid art. And then the all Magikarp, they would load and out. No one love and have a shit ton of them. A shit ton of them. Oh, is that a hollow Eevee that I have? Oh, look at that. No, it's not a hollow Eevee. I thought it was because it was sparkling. No. I like this Eevee because it's cute. It's running flowers and... Oh, you delicious possible fairy type creature. And then we got a Porygon in a box. Why? I never really understood that. Why the Porygon was in a box. I seen the episode, I was like, do they pop out of boxes and scare people? No, they come from computers and give kids seizures. So, Mystery Fossil, Omnimite, Omnistar, beautiful, Kabuto, and a Snorlax. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful Snorlax. Ah, let's see. I guess these are near the end, the rarer type Pokemon. We got a Hollow Zapdos. Let's see, let me shake it back and forth if you can kind of see the Hollow. These are really old. I noticed how dirty these are. Hollow Zapdos, and I think there's only one of them there. It's bent as shit. Now that I'm looking at it, oh my god. Uh, we got an Articuno, but no Moltres. No Moltres. We have an Articuno, we have a Dratini. We have a different art version of the training. We have a shit ton of these. A bunch of these. A Dragonair, a Dark Dragonair, a Dragonite, and another first movie Pokemon Mewtwo card. Which is uh, pretty cool. I remember getting this and I was like, oh, Mewtwo's so powerful. He's amazing. No one could ever beat me. And then I believe another alternate art promo card, which I think you got with a game. This specific Mewtwo, I believe. And look at that Dragonite. Oh, great googly moogly. I love you. If you guys watch my Pokemon TCG game, uh, my Game Boy game play playthrough, with that colorless deck I, deck I made, ooh, Dragonite, baby, you be, you be killing them. Fucking, ugh, the Diaz brothers be killing you, man. And then we got Mew. Look at this adorable little Mew. Also a promo card. Also a promo card. And usually the promo cards are really, aren't really that good. I've noticed they give you promo cards of super rare Pokemon and just kind of like, make the kids happy ah, and a Taurus and the rest is just empty and now the rest of these in here I have actually like I think six more pages these are Japanese cards 
a Japanese trainer bell, a Japanese sweep up, a Japanese uh, recover Pokemon, a Japanese um, guy get inflated by a Lickitung. We got Lieutenant Surge ready to bomb everything. Uh, whatever this is, this looks cool. I like this art. Hmm. I never really looked at it because it was like it's Japanese, so I can't understand it. But um, I don't know exactly what these are. I've never seen these before, and the nice back on them. I always like them better than the other back. Let's see. What is this? The Pokemon Dojo, Pokemon Room, an Oddish being like transported into a different fucking world. Giovanni looking sexy as fuck. A Pokedex, Lieutenant Surge looking sexy as fuck. Uh, the Dousing Machine, Squirtle. Caterpie. Let's see. Pidgey, Rattata, Sparrow. Nothing too crazy. I don't think I have too many, like, I got not rare cards, but anything of interest. Oh, look at this Clefairy. Look at this Clefairy. And it looks like I have to cut this short. Oh, Jesus. All right. So we're back here for part two since part one got interrupted and my dog went crazy and someone came home and all those wonderful things of being upstairs. Isn't it wonderful? This is Japanese cards. <clears throat> wonderful. I don't have that many. Uh, the first part was me showing, I guess, something new that I'm doing on my channel. But three show them again of these wonderful little trainer cards that are in Japanese. This one is quite vexing. Look at that. What is that? I don't even know what that is. What does it say? I don't know. There's a swasta swastika in it. What the fuck? Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. Swastikas are some form of uh, Buddhism, Buddhism that I don't understand. I've only heard it off offhand while watching the History Channel. So, look at that sexy Giovanni. Great googly moody. Squirtle. Japanese Caterpie. Japanese Weedle. I wonder if it's called Bug 1 and Bug 2, like how Hunter's just called Ghost. Oh, shit, what's that card's name, Ghost? It's just Ghost. Look, Chubby Pikachu. We don't get a lot of Chubby Pikachu. I don't know why they made Pikachu not Chubby anymore. Maybe because Chubby's not cute? Look at that. I like this artwork. The artwork for this, I believe this is the Rocket series. If I'm not, actually, I don't know what that is. I don't know what editions that's from, because I don't know anything. And there's wonderful What's-His-Face's Vulpix with a Pokeball in his mouth, because it wants to be caught by you. Look at this. Favorite Pokemon, Golbat. Look at that. Way before Poison was a thing, I guess. Every, it was a grass type. Look at this Oddish. Also, this has a rip in it. Do you see that? What the fuck? Someone tried to take a knife to that Oddish. We got Erica's Oddish just in the wind. Just standing there with a volcano in the back and some ash spray. We have a cartoon style Diglett. Meowth? Primeape? An interesting looking cadaver with, uh, I guess that's what they're, well, no, because I see it over here. Some Pokemon have a special, I forgot, they're like their power surge or whatever it may be. Look at that. No Graveler here, and also, I have the Golem. Oh, and I have a Radish. I don't think I had a Radish in English. Uh, an interesting style of art for a Magnet, um, Magnemite. And then... And a hollow magneton, Lieutenant Surge's magneton, the drill, and a muck, another one of my favorite Pokemans. And let's see, we only have a couple cards left. Got a Krabby, another hollow one of these, which I very, have very few of them. A wheezing. I'll try to go through them a little fast since. Oh, Mr. Mime! Mr. Mime! Which is also one of my f brother's favorite Pokemon. I know, right? All right, look at that. Look at that Taurus. That Taurus is actually really good. And why does he have it? You're a fire gym leader, sir. You're not allowed to have any other types. You're supposed to stay in your own archetype of, like, how many fire types were in Gen 1? Like, there's Arcanine, there's Charizard, there's Vulpix, there's Flareon, and then there's Magmar. What else am I missing here? What am I missing here? I think that's it, is it? Also including all their evolutions, but well, not really including them. There is an Omniite. Look at him. Look how cute he is, even though he's an ancient Pokemon. How dare the ancient Pokemon go on their death? Now, uh, I also got these right here, which are interesting because they're Gen 2 cards. And I believe we got these from the people that wanted to sell sell them to us. So we have a Chikorita. We have uh, 
Cyndaquil, and then I don't know what your name is. And then we have an Ampharos, an actual shiny Ampharos. Are you rare? You are rare. It has a star next to it. And a pseudo woodle my dick. That's from an old reference. And then we got a Damphy, a cute little Damphy. Let's see. And we have one more left. One more left. That's it for all the Japanese cards. That was Gen 2 Japanese, and the back are also the same for the Gen 2. And also, this person filled out this clue card. What does this clue card say? It says, Legendary Birds. It says, look at the three clues on the other side and fill in the crossword puzzle. We can we can't give you any other clues, but trust us, it's not it's not the four it's not for the birds. Once you figure out the puzzle, bring this card to any Pokemon trading card game TCG League location when you have the right answers, and you'll get all new promotion cards and earn league points. Huh? I wasn't I wasn't old enough to do that, but apparently this person did. To see down well, one down. Plug into the first bird. Down two, cold but not turkey. Across three, a real fire flyer. And it's Zapto's Moltres and fucking dummy doesn't know how to spell Articuno, you fucking idiot. Uh, let's see. Gold bat, Oddish. Oh, I like this Oddish art. Look at that. It's kind of melded in with all the other Oddishes. Well, I guess tree ferns. We got Erica's Oddish, which is a little bit darker than the other ones because it's I don't know. We got Gloom. We got a Dark Gloom, which is darker than the other ones. And also it has like this cool shine in its eye because it knows it's an anime hero. And then we got a Vile Bloom. We actually have a thick ton of these. Are these rare? They are. I got a shit ton of them. A Paris. A shit ton of Venonat. So much so you can kind of see the side of them sticking out. And then that's about it. I have no more. That's all my Pokemon collection. I used to have more binders. I don't know where they went. Or maybe they got all mashed together in one and they threw out the other binders. I didn't really have control of it. I could only see it every once in a while. And if I took them out, I would have got yelled at. Which isn't very good. And also, do you want to see my brother ruin a $4 card? Look at this. Look how ruined this for the... Look how... Look at this Magneton EX card. Ruin four dollars, literally three ninety five. Four dollars, hollow full art. Look at him, what a loser! He doesn't know how rare it is. All right, until next time, everyone. My name is Luna. As always, I hope to do different stuff like this. I guess I don't know. Bye. If I ran away from all I see, would I be fine with everything? No matter how much I really wanna stay, holding on.